Hey guys, what's up? Today is Vlog Saturday. My name is Sarah, and you've stumbled upon the most amazing vlog ever. Alright, so I'm going to tell you why I don't like being hit on, and then I'm going to tell you boys out there what you can do to make it less awkward for somebody who's like me. So, you could say, oh, she doesn't like being hit on because she's not single. I'm in a relationship. That's actually not true. Um, I've never liked being hit on because guys make it very uncomfortable for me. Like, oh, I'm glad you're interested in me, but stop. No, back away. <laughs> Let's take this in a different route. I do not respond very well to being, like, hit on when it's very obvious to me that this guy is, you know, hitting on me. My response to it is turning the other direction and finding the nearest escape route. A perfect example is I wear a brace on my right ankle and we were in Walmart one day and this guy came up to me and was like, oh, it obviously hurt when you fell from heaven. I can tell by your ankle brace. That not only startled me, but also was just like, this guy was obviously looking at me and knowing that a guy was like really looking at me and then made it very obvious in his statement made me extremely shut down and was just like you make me uncomfortable all right that being said number one don't ever just at random come up to a girl and immediately hit on her that is just common sense you if you're like if she's at a store you know let's say she's you know looking at outdoor stuff come up to her and be like oh I recommend this kind of tent and she might say oh I already have a tent and you can say oh my bad well then you know what are you looking for I can you know tell you my recommendation and she might just be like oh well I'm looking at for this and this and this and then there you go the perfect conversation is now you can tell her like what stuff you use for camping and then it'll lead to where you guys are going camping and all that other stuff or she can just totally shut you down and be like, oh, I'm not interested. I can find it myself. Bye. And then in which case, you don't actually go up to her and try to restart a conversation with her. You just walk away and accept the fact that you were just harshly rejected. Just, however, remember, it could have been worse. It could have been me in that outside door thing section who doesn't give you a chance at all and just immediately runs away. Number two, when you have the conversation going, wait till the very end of the conversation to then flirt with her. You know, at the end of the conversation, before she leaves, just be like, oh, by the way, you look really pretty today. And she might say, thank you. And then another conversation would start up. Or she could just be like, oh, thank you, goodbye. But remember, there's always a worse way that you could be rejected. Number three. Remember to never, ever, ever use cheesy pickup lines. It is the worst possible way to go. Like, if you use cheesy pickup lines, you are just asking to never get a girlfriend to never go out on a single date you are asking for that so i hope this helps you out a lot if not i apologize tell me down below so if you like this video make sure you like it if you want to subscribe which i know you do click that red button and if you have a comment comment down in the skirt and as always i will see you next saturday dream on bye